Here is a video about the police talking. Here are the police after turning around in the middle of the street when they seen me outside. Here are the police talking me on motorcycles when I went to the park. Here are the police when I went for a walk downtown. They drive slow around me at walking speed. Here are the police using remote surveillance and torture tech. It is believed that the software is a SDR software for remote surveillance and control of their targets. I have other police torture recordings, and they call this the torture app. The female dispatcher tells me by using microwave transceivers that she has me on remote all the time and that I hear their torture app. Here is the image zoomed. Here are the police using remote surveillance and torture in front of my home late at night. I was awaked by the microwave hearing effect and my head was burning and I had a headache. Here are the police using remote surveillance and torture. At my anger management class my mother was waiting in the car and she stated the cop was staring at her in the parking lot. I also suffered from the microwave hearing torture while in the class at the courthouse as well. Here is an image from the rear of the vehicle. I have clearer recordings you will hear in later videos. This is an easy way to prove the electronic harassment. It sounds much clear when it's in your head. Believe me, it sucks. The Corpus Christi police microwave hearing effect is very profane. And what they say is nutty as hell. Here's some police stalkers sitting in the parking lot. Wonder what they're doing. Let's make for a nice video. Fucking stalking. Police stalking is what this is. What do, we, what do they expect me to do? Run over there? Don't worry, assholes. I'm going to my anger management class. Don't violate my probation. That looks like the same vehicle that was over here last night. When I went out, I'd let Bo out back. Had the light shining on the house, sat there forever. They wear two Corpus Christi police vehicles next to my home. Here is a video of police talking mixed with psychological warfare over their walkie-talkies and rippling to comments I was making in my own home. As well, remote monitoring and electronic harassment should be illegal. I was mad due to police psyops, stalking, and torture. It is the end of a very long day. I had a video record the police stalker over there. Showing his two way radio, remote monitoring control. I know there's no reason for him to be pulled facing a fucking building over there. Staring at people by out, staring here over here with it out of his rear view fucking mirrors. What was that about my cell phone? You, you you think you have control of me over my fucking cell phone? Give me a fucking finger. Fucking dicks.
out here a dumb fuck. I think he's a whore. Cock licker. Fucking police department. Fucking evil shits. Let's see what the cops got to say about them. their two-way radios over there. Good enough evidence for me. Here is a video of Corpus Christi police stalking the target Johnny. Police stalk the target Johnny regularly. This is why target Johnny is highly pissed off. After turning around, police stalk target Johnny from across the street. The target Johnny did not leave. He was documenting the police stalking. After passing the target's home, the police car stops in the road, then goes down the street a little bit, then turns around in the middle of the road, and comes back to spy on the target Johnny. Corpus Christi police stalking from the parking lot across the street. Police see me leaving my home, and get ready to follow the target Johnny. Yeah, this cop, he pulled in this office depot parking lot over here, come over here, went through here. I took a picture of him out through the window. I came outside, he stops, goes down, then turns around and comes over here and parks right there. So I'm sitting here video recording a piece of shit. I, I think they like watching their stalking shit on YouTube. I think they like it. They like the fucking videos end up on YouTube of the Corpus Christi Police Department stalking people and torturing people and shit. 
They want something to fucking listen to. They can listen to me bitch about it, and they can fucking listen to me talk about how I put the shit all over the fucking now, internet. The thing about patrolling, yeah, stalking. Yeah. They're not immune at federal court. Their stupid little bullshit city ordinance ain't going to hold up in city court. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going to sue them down here. I'm going to take it to federal court. My fucking FBI even knows they're running a damn in-community, no-touch torture program. Everybody in fucking town knows it. Here is a video of new ASACE County law enforcement targeting and harassment torture. I was on the front porch of my business one minute listening to my phone MP3 player. After being targeted for being outside checking the mail by the local yoga studio women that said I ruined their day. By coming outside they said this two times. And they were staring at me. When I said, are you spying, and harassing the target? One of the wicked women said, haha you are crazy in a witch sounding tone. It is assumed that they called the police, I went outside and my mom asked me who I was talking to and I told her went back outside again and a man with a black shirt was outside acting like he was sweeping, and gave me a hand gesture, and told me to go back inside, most likely because targets in Texas are not allowed outside now. All targets are to stay indoors, and listen to microwave radio torture 24 hours a day 365 days a year. Next is the video of the police, that came three squads I wasn't allowed to sleep for over 48 hours because of the police torture, so I was a little excitable of course, as they were threatening me with shooting me, and were attempting to make me commit suicide due to the fact I was not listening to their microwave radio commands. Oh, uh, you're here, I just thought I could help no, you. What's your name, sir? John Heath. Uh, What's your name? Ayala. M B I I Yeah. A Y L A. Yeah. Where do you stay at, man? I live here. Oh, you live here? Yeah. Uh, did you call the police? No. Who called the police? I don't know. Yoga class, maybe? I don't know. Somebody called the police here? Yeah. Why'd they call the police here for? Something about a suspicious mail. A suspicious mail? Yeah. Oh, I bet it was them over there because I came out and checked the mail and there's four women staring at me over there when I turned around and looked over there. And uh, they were uh, staring at me over there. Uh -huh. And one of them said, you're, at, you're over here ruining our day. Thanks for ruining our day. And I was like, what? I yelled again. And uh, she said, oh, uh, you're ruining our day. And I said, can you speak up a little bit louder? Because I got a camera that records audio. Uh -huh. And uh, she, she, she does like this. Oh. And uh, I said, what are you doing? Spying and harassing a target or something over there? Because I got experience with people like you know, participating in no-touch torture, uh -huh. and uh, she, uh, one of them said, ha, 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 he's, she is crazy, and uh, my mom was in the living room, and she's like, what are they talking, what are you yelling at you about over there, and then there's a guy that came out with a broom, and he was staring over here, and I went back inside, and came back out, and uh, he tells me, you need to go back inside. Is and, your mom here? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Yeah, let me talk to him. He says he lives here. Oh yeah, I definitely damn live here. I get targeted here. You want to hear some of my torture recordings and no, electronics? No, no, no. I don't no want... touch torture tactics being used on me here daily? No. I got plenty of recordings you can listen to. Hey, the police are here. The police are here. They're here to target and torture the, their fucking target. The police have got called here. I've been video recording the whole time, just so everybody knows. Mom, the police want to talk to you about the yoga class people over there torturing your target. So what's your name, sir? My name's John Heath, like I told you the first John time. John Heath. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is your mom coming or no? Uh, yeah, she's in the bathroom. You're going to have to wait a minute. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'd appreciate it if you didn't use any foul language or anything. Yeah, but because uh, I record all this kind of stuff yeah, okay. that you guys do down here. Interesting, I got that on video from your two-way radio. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the no-touch torture cops are here. It's funny they brought up Davenport No Touch Torture. That's kind of strange. What's strange. Nothing. Nothing.
mom's name, Mr. Heath? Uh, my mom's name's Heath, Donna Heath. You better ask her her oh, name, though, because she might not want to tell you her name. Uh, uh, just a neighbor or something going on out here. Did, yeah. did you send some more officers over here? Yeah. Well, oh, there's three I, of them? I guess somebody called us. Uh, yeah, but they didn't know who was called, and they called me and said I was a suspicious male. So that's crazy. Sorry, sorry, something. They told uh, I was telling them what uh, what they did, and now there's more officers here. I thought it was kind of strange. They don't even know where the call came from, but they came here. Those are oh, suspicious yeah. males. Some, did they oh, say suspicious it? Male. Yeah. Suspicious male. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Male. That he was holding something in his hand, cursing, and yeah. Oh, you still gonna have to check the mail. I wasn't cursing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how the call came in. Well, yeah. Probably. So and when did this happen exactly? Just Do you have a time of the call? Could call us. Look, did you have you the know? time of the call? So. Did you have the time of the call? Just now. Just now. Just just now when I went outside, I didn't say anything to anybody. I was listening to my MP3 player on the yeah. porch, and I was reporting suspicious mail and said I was cursing, right? Yeah. And what was the number of that call? Because I, I would know. like to know. I don't know. Oh. Well, uh, what did you say? His dad went out first before all this happened and took his picture around the fence, come around and took a picture of him before he went to the store. And I don't know what it is. Okay, well, it's nothing, okay? I, I just wondering if you guys come here to stalk and harass a target or something. No, no, we don't Because do I'm not actually a target. I don't right, because, you know, we've got a lot of trouble with All right, well, have a good day. Yeah, you don't care if you have a problem, do you? Assholes. I just recorded all that shit, too. I think they're full of shit. They just came here to harass me. They wouldn't tell me what the number called from, either. We're going to use this for the lawsuit. Oh, I told him, I said, uh, I said, I've been recording your torture, and they come a woman, the dispatcher, come on the radio and started parroting more torture. And she mentioned Davenport. Oh, here's evil Davenport. <laughs> I, I got it all recorded right here. These motherfuckers are going down. Police department harassment and participation in no-touch torture, ladies and gentlemen. Three vehicles. I, I call about an assault, and they take an hour and 20 minutes to get here. I wasn't out on the porch one fucking minute. Do they want to handle the assault where I got run over? The guy over there that assaulted me and tried to run me over his truck. Oh, no, you don't want to handle that. Maybe I should have brought that up while they're here. They got here so fucking quick with th three fucking squad cars. Three squad cars. I get assaulted, though, and they take a fucking hour and a half to get here. And then they don't do anything. Fucking pieces of shit. They're goddamn fucking whores now. You may have noticed the interference with the microwave weapons when the stalker police arrived. The microwave radio weapons are so powerful, I have lost the will to work. I am lazy and my wind turbine busyness has been destroyed due to the torture. Now I have to look for junk and go dumpster diving to find items to sell online. This is the reason my home looks like I am a hoarder. I am very lazy because of the torture. My health is depleted due to the torture. I go without sleep for two or three days at a time. I used to be an inventor and business owner, now I am just a bum. These assholes just fuck with your mind and harass me when I work, so I can't work anymore. My life has been destroyed due to the law enforcement torture. I cannot work a regular job as no one will hire me and in the past no one can handle parroting the daily torture at me at work anyway. I am on probation and they are constantly threatening me with prison and more new Aces County brain entrainment programs when they get me in jail and or hanging me and making it look like a suicide in the cell they are slow telling me with microwave radio at home my fines are going up and when I don't listen to third torture programs they find me with more torture and threaten me with stealing my fine money that have already paid and making me pay it again or throwing me in prison for non-payment of fines after they steal the fine money. The new Aces County law enforcement is corrupt. The new Aces County Jail is like Abu Ghraib. 
and they have turned my home into a Abu grave as well. Also note there are many other people that have went to prison for non-payment of fines there may be a connection.